This is a case of a 25-year-old male who presented to his general practitioner complaining of recurrent swellings in his hands and forearms. He had no past medical history and had no known allergies. Routine investigations revealed a raised eosinophil count of 2.5 times 10 to the 9 per litre. Subsequently, he was referred to the haematologist for further investigation. However, they could find no explanation for his symptoms or persistent hyperosinophilia. Six years following his symptoms, he complained of an irritated right eye and upon looking in the mirror, saw a worm traversing his conjunctiva. He attended a regional ophthalmology hospital and they managed to remove the worm under local anaesthetic. He was referred to the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and on taking a detailed travel history, we discovered that two years prior to his symptoms starting, he had travelled to southwest Nigeria, spending three months along, living alongside a local family and having visited forested areas. We managed to identify the worm as an adult female lower lower worm and taking a, a venous blood sample showed a microfilaria count of 5,230 microfilaria per milliliter. He was initially treated with three weeks of albendazole to reduce the risk of meningoencephalitis, gradually lowering the microfilaria load to 950 per milliliter. He was subsequently then treated with three weeks of diethylcarbamazine, DEC. Lower Lower, also known as the African eye worm, is endemic to Central Africa and parts of Nigeria. It's transmitted by the bite of the deer fly and migration of the adult worm can cause localised angioedema, also known as calabar swellings. Eosinophilia can be caused by either infectious or non-infective causes. It's important to always take a detailed travel history in anyone presenting with unexplained eosinophilia. And remember that many parasitic infections, including loiasis, can persist for many years and sometimes even decades.